Today I am reading Matthew 13, verse 1 through 23, the parable of the sower. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into the boat and sat in it, while all the people stood on shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came up and ate it all up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow, but when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and took the plants. Still, other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. Why do you speak to the men in parables? He replied, Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you. But not them. Whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them. This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing, they do not see. Though, though hearing, they do not hear or understand. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will never, you will ever hear, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. For this, people's hearts have become callous. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are those, uh, but blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. For truly I tell you, many prophets and righteousness and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Listen, listen, then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. The seed is falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word. But the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown.